Rakatai Hawa, Rakatai Hawa Sha, Rakatai Yahawa, Rakatai Yahawa Sha. Now, the 18 nations that's in the Bible all have judgments that's coming to them from the Almighty Yahweh. Uh, in Jan uh, Jeremiah, he quoted a couple of these verses, starting with um, Jeremiah 25. He gave all the nations in a either in order or he start naming them. He said, first Jerusalem, you're gonna drink the cup of God's wrath. You're gonna be the first to drink. And so the other nations he started saying that don't think that you're going to drink the cup uh, or that don't think Jerusalem is going to drink the cup of God's wrath and you're going to go unpunished where you're not going to have to drink the cup of God's wrath. So just like Jerusalem drunk the cup of God's wrath, went into captivity, Every time they disobeyed the Most High, he brought a nation against them and put them in captivity. So just like that, you will drink the cup of God's wrath. And so he started naming each nation. So for these nations to get in their mind that we're gonna we're gonna have a kingdom right along with the Israelites' kingdom. After our kingdom fall, you see, it's just it's just not adding up to the scriptures. And the two top nations, uh, uh, number one and number two. There's Jacob and then Esau. Now, Jacob is number one, but number two, Esau's nation, they were the first nation uh, to get the blessing of uh, Jacob and Esau, pretty much. They was the uh, first uh, nation to be able to rule because they ruled under the Greeks, the Romans. They they had a king before Israel even had a king. They had became a nation where they had a king and um. They got established first before Israel got established. But now Jeremiah, he, he named all these nations. When you look, when you read Jeremiah 25, 18, he say, To wit, Jerusalem and the cities of Judah and the kings thereof, and the princes thereof, to make them a desolation, an astonishment, a hissing, and a curse, as it is this day. Verse 19, Pharaoh king of Egypt, and his servants, and his princes, and all his people, and all the mingled people, and all the kings of the land of Uz, that go to Edomites, and all the kings, and all the kings of the land of the Philistines. So he's going down. He's naming all of them. Uh, he, he says the remnant of Ashdod. Then 21 he started off with Edom. Edom and Moab. The children of Ammon. The Chinese and the Japanese. 
And he, he keeps naming. He gets down to verse. Uh, he gets down to verse 26. And he say. And all the kings of the north. For. Far and near. One with another. And all the kingdoms of the world. Which are upon the face of the earth. And the. King of. Shishak shall drink after them. So he he put it where in 18 he was saying that Jerusalem was going to drink this cup of the Lord's wrath. They was going to drink this cup. And he said uh It's a cup of wine. A cup of wine of the fury of the Lord. And so. In. Jeremiah 25. 25. Uh, 27. He said therefore thou shalt say unto them. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. The God of Israel. Drink ye and be drunken and sprue and fall and rise no more. You see that? Rise no more. Because the sword which I will send among you. And it shall be if they refuse to take the cup at thine hand to drink. Then thou shalt say unto them, thus saith the Lord of hosts. Ye sh shall certainly drink. Verse 29. He say for lo. I begin to bring evil on the city. Which is called by my name. And shall ye be utterly unpunished. Ye shall not be unpunished. For I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth, says the Lord of hosts. So these other nations want to twist scriptures and say, oh, he said he was going to bless all the nations through Abraham. And we're going to have the kingdom with you guys, with you Israelites. We're going to go and be in y'all heavenly kingdom kingdom you know we're gonna be uh kings and priests with you guys when um the messiah comes <laughs> it's not gonna happen <laughs> he, he he said do you think that ye will be utterly unpunished you going you're not gonna go into captivity like we went into captivity we've been in and out of captivity and they think they're not going to go into captivity. Now that was Jeremiah uh, 25. Now recently it was a hurricane in uh, Tennessee. Oh no, a tornado in Tilakia in Tennessee. And the people found the Bible and the Bible was open to a specific page the bible was open to a specific page and i think it was 46 of jeremiah so we just read 25 but in 46 of jeremiah he made a statement that go along with jeremiah 25 uh, to get to the point, he said in, in Jeremiah 46, 28, 28, say, Fear thou not, O Jacob, my servant, says the Lord, for I am with thee, for I will make a full end to all the nations, whether I have driven thee, but I will not make a full end of thee, but correct thee in measure Yet will I not leave thee wholly on 
punished. Read, let's read that again. Fear thou not, O Jacob, my servant, saith the Lord, for I am with thee. For I will make an e a, a full end of all the nations whether I have driven thee. But I will not make a full end of thee. But correct thee in measure, yet I yet will I not leave thee wholly unpunished. So he was telling Jacob, don't fear that you went into captivity. You went into captivity and you being punished and you being corrected in measure, but don't think that these all these other nations that you have been driven inside of and you've been in there in captivity scattered throughout all the nations of the earth and especially here in Babylon the Great, don't think that you're going to go into slavery and go through all the wrath of the Lord and these other nations going to sit back laugh at you and and call you by words and, and have you uh, looking um, all bad and they going to come in the kingdom with you and now they they not going to get punished. They're going to be in the kingdom with you having a good time in your kingdom. He said, don't think it. Now, these so-called Christianity people, they pushing this thing. And these Edomites got done convinced the Moabites, the, all the nations. They have convinced all the nations. Uh especially the Jehovah Wickedness, that they're going to be able to get into the kingdom with the Israelites. Now, they'll, they'll go to Isaiah. They'll take you to Isaiah 55 every time. But they don't understand what they're doing. Because in Isaiah 55, verse 11, it says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me un, I mean void. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So to get to the point, he's saying my word left out of my mouth and I sent it out of my mouth for a specific reason I mean I said that these nations is going to get punished and they're not going to be wholly unpunished you know they're not going to go unpunished and not drink the cup of the wrath and the fury of the Lord you know he had, I reminded Jeremiah that the nation of Israel went through the captivity and that wasn't going to be the end of the situation. The other nations going to have to go into captivity too. They're not just going to get away with the situation. And these silly Christians really think that they're going to get away. You're not going to get away from the cup. Because he said, he going to give them the cup. And if, if they refuse the cup, they're going to have to drink it anyway. Like when your, your parents give you medicine. And as kids, we try to reject the medicine and say, I don't want any of the medicine. We turn our heads and don't want to drink the medicine that's in the cup. But the Lord, he say, you going to drink the cup. 
You're not going to go away punished. Now, when you go back to Jeremiah, in between those two verses, uh, in, in between chapter 25 and chapter 46, Jeremiah lets you know the context of the punishment that these nations is going to get for uh you know having the nation of Israel in captivity and in 46 that that wasn't the only place he been stating this that all the nations was going to have to pay because he was re restating uh in 46, what he had stated in 30. You see? And so, in 30, chapter 30, verse 11, he, he, re he stated it the first time. Or after uh, chapter 25, he's, he stated in verse 30, I mean, chapter 30, verse 11, Salakia, chapter 30, verse 11, For I am with thee, says the Lord, to save thee, though I make a full end of all nations, where I have scattered thee. Yet will I not make a full end of thee, but I will correct thee in measure, and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. So he was letting... The nation of Israel know, just because you're my chosen people, I'm not going to leave you all the way unpunished. I'm going to punish you, but don't think you're going to be the only per only people and only nation to be punished. Because we was in all nations being punished while the nations was ruling and we was building up their nation. Okay? Then in Jeremiah 30, verse 16, it says, Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they shall they that spoil thee shall be spoiled. Shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I make will I give for a prey. So, these in the other individual nations had us in captivity. You see, because he spread us throughout all the nations. So, they all had us in captivity and we was building up all of these nations and they all got up high over us as the curse say, the stranger within thee will get up above thee very high, and you will come down very low. So we, we came down very low in all these nations, and they went very high. And you can look, look at all these nations and see how many rich people that, that they have compared to the nation of Israel. And you'll see they beating us by a long shot. And so, pretty much, the nation of Israel is beginning to realize that they are God's chosen people. They, they've been punished at this particular time, but it's coming a time very soon that we will put all these nations into captivity and they will have to drink the wrath of the Lord. All praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rikakadash, double honor to the elders pushing the truth, uh, peace to the elect worldwide, uh, death to America, death to these red dragons. Shalom.